by 1982, it's, uh, you know, you were talking about uh, how Jake was really over with everybody. But by 1982, all of a sudden, you were about to really get over with this uh, this new character. America was swept by this kind of satanic panic following the Manson family murders, Son of Sam, Exorcist, all that kind of Some thing. Some of my favorite people. <laughs> well, you guys were were peas in a pod with him in this era. Is is it safe to assume, Kevin, that uh, you, you got some inspiration from this stuff? Oh, yeah. And, you know, Tons. the thing you forget, too, was M MTV first started about that time. So there was Michael J uh, Jackson, Jackson, Michael Jackson, Thriller, Billy Idol, oh, White shit, Wedding. Man. It was all that tinted that way, you know, Ozzy Osbourne, all that. And then the horror movies became super big back again. So we kind of took from that, you know. It was awesome, and you know, I I've heard Jake talk about it. I've heard a lot of other people in wrestling talk about it. Jake, can you maybe help contextualize uh, just how much the character resonated in that era in that area in Florida, nineteen eighty two? Oh fuck, man! All I had to do was watch the devil. You know, I went out. I did a lot of the the wrestling bullshit. Yeah, but Kevin would come in the ring so fucking vicious. See, that's I, I've never found that gear to be like him because he had a special way of just, you know, terrifying me, man. He was like a fucking psycho leprechaun coming at you and had fangs and teeth and dildos and whatever. And, and he would hurt you with them. <laughs> with those dildos, you got to be careful with those dildos. Oh my God, tell me. So you returned to Florida here in 1982 and it, it was so masterfully done because Kevin, you were this really kind of unassuming baby face type character. You're putting over the territory saying all the best wrestlers in the world. And then Steve Kern came out and he said, ah, there's something off with this guy. And yeah. kind of, nobody was really kind of buying it. And uh, it just uh, brilliantly set up. And uh, from the very beginning, was the Satanist character in your mind? Like before you even came back to the territory? No, I thought about being a heel. But then, you know, I got to Florida, you know. And we got to, you know, we, we can't forget what other era it was. Miami was built on powder, right? I mean, people are running around, you know, the new, uh, was it the time, time magazine came out and said it was actually good for you. It was, <laughs> you remember that? <laughs> so, I mean, everybody had their screw. I'm stuck with it. <laughs> yeah. Everybody had their screw twisted a little, but when I got there and I started seeing the, uh, I said, I had worked with the, uh, Barry and Blackjack Mulligan up in Knoxville for a while. Oh. And I was a heel there, and I said, maybe I could split the dressing room where half the dressing room, like Mike Graham and uh, some of the other guys, baby faces like me, but Barry and Blackjack didn't. And I said, if I start this real slow, I mean, I just didn't walk out with my eyes painted and face yeah. painted on. I did it slow. I, I think I, I probably picked that up from Jake before he even got there. It was probably six weeks, I bet you. Yeah, I just introduced that character slowly where people are starting to say, whoa, you got you got the good guy saying that he's no good. He's starting to look, sound strange, you know, and I, I started muttering some stuff. And then Gordon, who, who was the, the best. best for all times, him and I started to have this little repertoire going back and forth where, he was questioning me. I'm saying, well, you've never done anything wrong, Gordon. You have admitted I've done anything wrong. But can't we turn the page? And yeah, I mean, it was pushed. And that, that's, you know, that's, that's sweet. psychology, too. That's sweet, man. It you know, when you take something and you build on it for several weeks, what yeah. you're doing is you're making the people think. And if you're making the people think, guess what? They're going to buy a ticket. Because yeah. they're thinking about this shit. They're no thinking question. about which way is he going to go? What the fuck is going to happen? Oh, he's not a heel. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. And, and he set it up perfectly. They took weeks to do it. Right. And then they had me go out on, out to Gordon Sully and, and bring up Nevik Novelis. Yeah. And was his name spelled backwards. <laughs> Is that Never cool or what? That, I mean, just incredible, especially because, again, during that era, you know, it was the whole, uh, that Beatles thing where they, they said if you played the White Album backwards. Right, it, right, I mean, right. Paul is dead. Right, right. Paul just, is dead, yeah. 